Hi, I'm Sundata Hiet Villarreal. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. Last time, we discussed about the white space. Okay, and uh, right now, our topic for today is about function. But uh, it is not exactly the the all function of C language okay so uh, because there are uh, types of function we have okay so number one we have the types of function we have number one we have a simple function number two we have the basic function and number three, we have the complex function. Okay? And I'm going to discuss a simple function only. Okay, this one. Now, uh, we're going to define what is a function. Okay? So, a function is a group of a statement that uh, together perform a task okay so a function is a group of statements that together perform a task and uh, let's move on for our uh, example Okay, coding example. So let's proceed the uh, include. Stdio.h integer main begin and end. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we have sharp include stdio.h, which is considered to be the head. Okay, we have the head and integer main is the neck and uh, these two is the uh, body okay now where is the where's the uh, function okay now I mentioned that uh, there is a what they call peripherals and the peripherals is the what do you call the function okay so let's proceed okay let's proceed let's proceed now uh, so <laughs> let's have here uh, and we have fleet again okay you will notice that a main is a main function and we have here also I created this one and the another one we have greet and we have greet again okay it again and you will notice they are in a red line it meant to say they didn't know the the compiler didn't know what this is all about okay but uh, this one is what you call a function a very simple function now since this is a function it will call this grid so we need to create grid okay then begin and end so it is uh, a peripheral okay now right here we're going to type print f mabuhay okay mabuhay that's it and 
and another we have beat again so let's proceed uh, read again and uh, begin and end so let's type printf jos mabalos okay so we are finished with this so we create this uh, function and uh, we put it below the main code block and another one okay so but you'll notice is still the red underline has been done right here the code block but we have here also uh, which is considered to be a red underline now it is the same as declaring integer main okay that's why we need to put right here so we avoid it okay and read again okay so it's almost the same as a integer main Let's proceed. Now, since we declare void in a grid, so a function void is a function call. So let's type here void. And let's type here void. Okay. And you will notice the red underline has been done. Okay. Look at that it's pretty now let's check out if this is considered to be running otherwise of course it is an error so on the left uh, corner of your IDE just uh, remove uh, sandata underscore program 6 by right clicking on it and exclude from project now afterwards if we look again at our program so we have a yellow, yellow line here. You can click debug and start without debugging. Now right here, click yes. We have build started and uh, look at the build succeeded. And uh, that's it. So we have mabuhay, just mabalos. So greet, greet again. A very simple function, okay? So if you notice, uh, this is the main, we didn't put here mabuhay, but it calls greet, okay? The program calls greet, and inside of the greet, we have printf mabuhay, and another, it calls again greet again, and uh, void greet again, we have printf just mabalos. Now, uh, this is only a very simple function which I mentioned about that this one is considered to be a peripherals okay so uh, a function if you notice there is a what you call actual body of a function okay. so let's put it here actual body of a function okay so the actual body of a function okay we have here number one the first thing we have here so I think uh, I'm going to move this right here so the first one is a function name and the function name is the name the programmer put in a put 
as identifier. Okay. So a function name is the name of uh, the name the pro the programmer the name that the programmer put as identifier. Okay. The second one we have here. Uh, one example of the function name is this one. So I put this one. So greet. Okay. And another one is greet again. The second one is the function declaration. Okay. So if you declare a function so it states that uh, you have the name you have the uh, body you have the parameter and you have also the return type okay so this is the name if we're going to declare a function this is the name and uh, this is the body okay this is the return type and this is the parameter okay so and the last we have here is the function definition Okay, where you are going to use your function. So right now we use our function definition by greetings. Okay, that is the our definition in our function. Okay, so um, let's check out since uh, already finished. Let's click debug and start without debugging. Click yes. Build started and build succeeded. Okay. So uh, uh, thank you for your time watching this video. If you want more videos, check out my email. SY Villarreal Jr. 0105-1975 at yahoo.com.ph Good luck!